All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the Freedom Studios. Got an email from Mr. Lofton. Mr. Lofton is a lifetime member of our services, 28 years retired. Thank you very much for your service, and thanks very much for this awesome email that you sent to me. This comes, by the way, of Fox News. The DOJ expected to issue order rule on ghost guns Friday. Well, that's today. Payday. Let's talk about this. So proposed rule will be entered into the Federal Register on Friday and kick off a 30, 60 day review period. You know how it works. They issue what they want and then we have, you know, the review period where we can reply to it, I guess. Ghost guns. All right, so here we go. We're gonna give you my opinion of this whole thing. The Department of Justice is expected to take action on ghost guns on Friday, keeping with an executive order, Mr. President Bud and Good God. Issued last month, according to the DOJ sources, uh, the proposed rule will be entered into the Federal Register on Friday to kick off a 30-60 day review period for the public comment. Oh, yeah. So we got to be ready. Get ready with your public comments and let them know how much this is BS. Uh, home building guns has been going on for centuries, and all of a sudden now it's a problem. I got another email from a gentleman talking about in PA they found a bunch of crackheads who had a oh, I don't know, six or seven of the ghost gun things. Uh, that's the kind of shit that does not do our industry any favors. In the wake of several mass shootings, just yesterday, there was a sixth, year, a sixth grader brought a gun to school, shot three people. What the hell are these people thinking? Uh, and it's interesting that uh, all of a sudden Biden starts talking about gun control and he starts picking, uh, these mass shootings start picking up left and right. Tell me that there's something not connected there. Okay, in the wake of several mass shootings and the pressure from Democrats to make good on campaign promises, Biden announced April 7th that the DOJ had 30 days to propose rules to stop the proliferation of ghost guns. Now, here's the whole thing, ghost guns. What, what kills me is that they mixed into that whole ghost gun things like uh, parts kits. So that's the scary part. I, I don't know how they can even... Uh, comprehend killing that industry. Uh, the polymer 80s, well, I don't know about that either. So let's talk about this. Ghost guns are not subject to serial numbers on the background checks because they are assembled from kits that include an unfinished piece, typically at a receiver. Well, on the parts that I do, hell, I go to a receiver and, or go to the gun dealer and I buy the 80, not the 80% lower, but I buy a completed lower that has a serial number on it. The Justice Department also has been given 60 days to issue separate rule on stabilizing braces. This is going to be a huge one, which can turn a pistol into a more accurate weapon that fires like a rifle. 60 days will also be provided for the DOJ to develop a model red flag legislation that would allow friends and families to identify an individual as a potential danger. Here's the problem that I have with all this bullshit, especially the red flag, because the red flag, as far as I'm concerned, cons it consumes us all because the liberals, they consider us, anyone to have a firearm as a potential criminal. So if they had their way, we'd all be red flagged. S tell me I'm wrong. Uh, Biden has called on Congress to ban assault weapons, also called on the Senate to pass two House bills, one of which closes loopholes whoop, whoop on background checks, including the Charleston loophole, and the one that expanded background checks to include gun sales on the Internet and at gun sales. <clears throat> Hold on one second. Background checks to include gun sales on the Internet. I don't know. I call, uh, let's see, grab a gun. Grab a gun, send me a gun, and they send that right to my house. That's what these people think, that you can just order a gun and it comes right to your home. I think what they're talking about is arms list. A third party that takes one person and introduces them to another person, and then they have to do the transfer or they have to do whatever else they have to do. But the mixed communication that the federal government has with this bullshit is that they are telling nothing but lies. Lies. Still, the president has said that he will not wait for Congress to take action on gun control. What the hell is he going to do? Biden has also said that his administration is taking steps to invest in community violence intervention and has called on the DOJ to issue a firearms tracking report. Dear God, they'd have a field day at my house. Okay, so anyway, <clears throat> what do we have here? Red flags, parts kits, uh, internet sales, uh, bump stocks. Not bump stocks. Sorry, Trump already took care of that. But uh, stabilizing braces. 
we've already gone through the review period and everything else that has uh, been involved with the stabilizing braces. So I don't know how they're going to come back to that one. But you never know. This is Democrats. This is Chipman. This is the, the assholes that run the world now. This has to stop. So anyway, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. The DOJ. Well, here we go, man. Today should be an interesting day because it could ruin a lot of people's lives and instantly turn a lot of people into criminals. And that's what they want. Everyone who has a firearm is a potential criminal as far as the left is concerned. It's Boy 32 If you like this video, oops, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so. Support red, white, and blue. People have said this statement is incorrect, but uh, and they say something about bootlicker. But I support the guys and men and women in uniform that support our Constitution because they're going to be there side by side with us fighting against whatever's on the other side. It's Cuddleboy32. I'm out here. Y'all have a great day. Boom.